Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to Scottish Geeks, my name is Derek and today I want to talk to you about something that's been sort of very important to me and I really haven't talked about it in a vlog before. That is independent creators, independent artists, independent developers, basically any of the word in the end of the title. <laughs> this is something that I should have said and really needs to be said, really, and it shouldn't need to be said to you guys but it needs to be said in general. These guys pour their heart, their soul, and a lot of the time, all of their money into their projects. Take game developers for an example at the moment, because that's something that's more closely related to what I do. Indie game developers can, and often do, go into massive amounts of debts trying to create the perfect game for you guys, and um, then have to go through things like copyright lawyers, and then, you know merchandising rights, uh, you know, selling the game online doesn't, it's not cheap to sell a game online. You actually have to, on certain um, platforms, pay to, uh, to be able to sell these things. For example, Steam, you have to pay a certain amount of money to be able to be put onto Steam. Independent developers do not have that kind of money really to hand unless they're already like filthy, stinking rich to begin with. And what happens is, is a lot of people start to pirate these games. Now, pirating these games in and of itself is illegal. We'll just say that straight off the bat. Pirating, torrenting is an illegal practice. Um, so don't do it. But for those of you who do do it, think about what you're doing in terms of what's happening with the developer. Uh, basically what these developers have to deal with just now is they put a load of money into the game and then they make next to nothing back because all people want to do is get this game for nothing. Uh, the developers may put the game at a price you might not like, for example maybe 5 bucks for a 20 minute game, uh, but you've got to also consider the fact that they put a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of effort into making that game. It's like months and months of work for you to play for 20 to 30 minutes and then complain about the fact that it's five pounds or five dollars or whatever your equivalent sort of um, monetary value system is. And um, that five dollars is not going to build them a brand new wing in their house or, you know, get them that gold plated toilet they've always wanted. What it does is help them to first off eat and second off fund more research into more better games for them to create for you and um i'm going to take bendy night machine as an example just now because it's the most recent one it's the most popular one and it's something that's probably going to get people noticing this video more than anything else um the creators themselves i'm not going to say what they what they do because i can't i can only speculate but this is guesswork here like say they put a full two months work in promoting flying here and there um, creating, hiring other people to um, finalise and you know make everything look nice and pretty for all you to play, uh, to work on the music, to pay for you know the development tools etc, to pay for lawyers to deal with the copyright issues that they're going to probably more than likely face, especially with people who take their images and sell them online, you know, um, things like that. And they're asking for like five or six dollars, I think it is. Um, for that game and in return a huge percentage of you are pirating the game because you don't think it's right that you should pay for it. Now what's going to happen here is that chapter 3 of Bendy Night Machine is going to take a lot longer to come out because the guys can't afford to keep going the way they're going because you guys have refused to pay for it. Not not you guys per personally, I'm just saying some, some folk are having issues with paying for it and it just means like that chapter three that we're all waiting for is going to take longer to come out. It's going to maybe not be as polished because they can't get they can't afford to hire the people. Um, they may even have to go at some stage like we can't finish this game because we can't afford it. Is that what you really want? I mean, think about it in that respect. Don't think of it as paying for a product. Think of it as an investment into. A future company that could bring you out the the games that you so desperately want. I mean, if you think about it logically, no game company could afford to shell out games for nothing all the time. They need funding. They need 
you know, they need sponsorships, they need all that kind of thing. Um, so pirating it is just one step closer to the destruction of the industries, especially for the independent companies. Like I said, the AAA companies, they're okay at the moment. They've got that money behind them. They've, they've had many, many years of not having to deal with um, piracy and such a huge scale that it's at just now. I mean, like, you couldn't pirate a cartridge until way later after all the games had been sold. You couldn't pirate... Oh, you could pirate, like, the tapes from the old Spectrum, but it was very, very difficult to do, and you needed to be able to afford two tape decks. And at that point in time, two tape decks cost a lot of money, and you needed all the different wires and everything. But these days, pirating games are so damned easy that it's destroying independent creators' ability to bring you the games they want. They can bring you one game, and because you guys can't be arsed paying a small amount of money, you're just going to destroy the companies. That's all there is to it. That is that is the, the be-all and end-all of it. It's like saying to you, for example, again, I'm not re addressing my audience directly, and if you do do it, just please take this note. It would be like equivalent to me saying to you, Right, I want you to build a shed. Here's three bits of wood, get a start on it. And then the next day you need to buy some more wood. But you can't because I'm like, well, I'm not going to pay you for that because it's not finished yet. So, But you still need to finish it before you get paid. How are you going to do it? You're not going to be able to do it because you don't have enough money to do it. Because you're not getting paid for the work you've done and people are expecting you to finish it whether they pay for it or not. And you can't finish something you can't afford to build. That's my only analogy for the whole thing. Support your indie developers, even if it's through something like Patreon, or, you know, I mean, it was actually Mike Mood that said this. It's like, look, if you're going to do that, please at least, you know, give us some support. Buy some of our merchandise. You know, do something that contributes towards what we do, because... If they can't do that, you're not going to get a game. That's it. All That's all there is to it. You know? So, don't pirate. Pay for the products that you really, really want. If you must wait, then wait until the product's finished. And then wait till it goes on sale or something like that. Something that the developers themselves or the creators themselves have agreed to. Uh, to give you that. There are contests out there if you're so desperate. I had a contest up and hardly anyone entered. Um, there were so many people complaining they couldn't get it. And when I posted up um, on the Meatly's Twitter that I had a contest running, I got people complaining that I was self-promoting. And I was like, no, I'm trying to actually offer you guys a chance to win this game that you're all complaining costs too much. I mean, seriously. You want something for nothing, but someone offers it to you in a play and you're like... Oh, no, no, that's just self-promotion. I'm not going to do that. Well, whatever, you know. You've had the opportunity. You could have won it. I could have maybe asked for a couple of extra keys if a lot of people had, you know, entered the contest. But as it stands, the person that won it won it fair and square. And that's all there is to it. But, yeah, piracy is going to destroy what you love. The independent games companies. The AAA game games companies... They can bring out whatever the fuck they like. But the independent ones who are truly, truly passionate about what they're doing right now, they're suffering because you can't be arse paying. And that's all there is to it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think personally about piracy and people who pirate games because I just really want to know what your thoughts are. I really do. If I mean, there, there would be no judgment from me in the comments below. You may judge each other, but that's not my problem. Okay, I just want to know what you guys personally think. Um, I'll reply to as many f comments as I can, and um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, please remember, do not pirate stuff. <sighs> it's just bad, right? Okay, bye bye.